and one small town in Missouri is a finalist. KQ2's Nicole Scott sat down with the organizer of the Norborn Soybean Festival. The Norborn Soybean Festival is celebrating its 43rd year this August. Kyle Durham has been volunteering for the Norburn Soybean Festival for 15 years. The Norburn Soybean Festival started in 1982 when a group of community leaders got together and wanted a way to uh, increase civic pride, uh, reconnect neighbors and family from all over the region, and uh, all while celebrating the state and our region's number one industry, which is agriculture. Akhtar Hussein, director of Refined Fuels Marketing at Senex, talked to KQ2 about Senex's hometown throwdown competition. At the end of the day, right, this is a competition. And so the grand prize winner uh, is going to receive $100,000 from Senex uh, to just make the festival better. You know, there's a lot of pride in these festivals, um, but sometimes there's, there's a lack of dollars to support them. Senex's hometown throwdown competition had over 500 entries. The other two finalists in the Hometown Throwdown competition are Rousseau, Minnesota's Fall Harvest Fest and Hayward, Wisconsin's Muskie Fest. The first place winners of the competition will receive $100,000 from Cenex, while the second and third place winners will receive $25,000. To vote, go to CenexHometownThrowdown.com. Reporting in St. Joseph, Nicole Scott, KQ2 News. Voting ends for Cenex's Hometown Throwdown competition on May 15th. For more information on the Norborn Soybean Festival and Senex's hometown throwdown competition, check out this story on KQ2.com.